All right, good morning. Uh, Hidalgo County 4-H, this is Romeo Suna, uh, your 4-H agent. Uh, today is Saturday morning. Uh, we're gonna do kind of a last minute, uh, last video of the halter breaking process, um, the walking, the bathing, blowing, and uh, show, uh, show stick work. Uh, so right now we're here with uh, Rafael Carrera, Carrera Cattle Company. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you all through the process from beginning to end. So right now I'm gonna put the halter on the heifer. You walk up to her, remember, be calm. Once you got your heifer, remember the last time I said to keep close, a uh, close uh, on the right on the halter so that you know you can maintain control. So right now we're gonna walk her over to the walk rack. Uh, so like I said, remember in the halter breaking process, it's baby steps. Right now, she doesn't want to move, so I'm pulling a little bit and tug, and she walks. You want her to come five or six feet, pull, and she comes. So, like I said, baby steps. You know, she's a little, she's, we're still working with her. So as we walk with her, you know, like I said, we've been working with her uh, every day. So she's still, she's still a little green, but she's getting there. So as we take her out of the pen slowly, uh, we're going to continue to walk over to the, to the wash rack. As we're walking to the, to the walk rack, the wash rack, you know, like I said in the last video, you know, you always want to maintain control. You know, I normally do the little kissy noises like I did the last time to make her walk. So, you know, as we're coming, you just kind of hold pressure, you know, and, you know, she'll come with you. So as you're, as you continue the halter breaking process, it gets easier and easier, but I don't let go uh, of the halter. I maintain close, close ties because I don't want her to, to get away from me. Once we get to the wash rack, we bring her up close. And like I said, you wanna tie her up and you wanna get her as close as possible. So if she doesn't wanna move forward, you kinda of give a little bit of pressure and slowly she'll move forward. So what I normally do is I tie her up. If you pay close attention, I come around and kind of make like a little snip lot, slip knot through and pull and have that access. So when you finish, it's not so hard for you. You can grab it here, pull, and you're ready to go. So it's easier. So again, it'll be over the top, over the top, tight, around grab with your left hand make a loop through pull up and there you go and she's nice and tied up all right guys now that the the heifer's tied up on the wash rack uh last time we used we used a spray gun this time we don't have it here so you know when you don't have it you just use what you got so like i mentioned the last time you start from the bottom and you kind of move up and make sure that you get her whole body you know to... like i said right now we're, we're not using conditioner we're not using any shampoo you know we're right now we're in the beginning of, of june you know so it is still hot but it's also good to kind of refresh them every now and then you know so you really don't have to put a lot of pressure on your on your hose Come around, make sure you do all the animal from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom. You know, because we still have, you know, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, you know, so we still have a long ways to go before show season. You know, like I said before, you have your prospect shows uh, in October, November. 
and December, January. But, you know, I normally don't like to use conditioner or anything like that until we get closer to the date. So right now she's, she's completely wet, you know, and we'll let her dry off a little bit before I start uh, blowing. All right, guys, uh, we had the heifer washed and, and wet down a little bit. Now we're gonna do a little bit of blowing so that we can kind of get her dried up. Uh, you know, because when you go to the shows and, and you go to your prospect shows, sometimes they're blow and go shows. Uh, so it's just wash and, and blow. So right now we're gonna give her a little, a little blow. And uh, what I normally do is, I said start from the bottom slowly. Uh, as you're noticing, I'm blowing uh, from the bottom uh, up, you know, all the way up uh, her hind, nice and slow in even motions. Uh, I come back to the bottom to her flank and then start all the way up back up again towards the top. And I continue that motion all the way to the whole side of the heifer's body. And as you continue to use the blower, she kind of gets used to the noise, she gets used to the air, you know, and it feels good on her and it relaxes her at the same time. So, as you can see, you know, I kind of just come all the way from the bottom to the top in easy motions, all the way from her top, all the way back to her loin, and across, and all the way back down. As you can see, I come around, continues a blower on her backside from the bottom of her feet all the way up her tail set kind of move her a little bit continue to blow so she can dry well from behind and I start the same process again as I did on the opposite side now right there she's giving me a little bit of trouble but you know you can push her away and continue to do the same steps as you can see I'm coming from the bottom to the top from the bottom to her top, the same process as I did on the other side. So this process, you know, kind of helps tame your animal better throughout, you know, the working season uh, as you do the steps that, that I've been doing, you know, throughout these videos where you start off with a halter, uh, halter braking, walk to the wash rack, you know, so they can get used to the same routine. And it's always good to take them out so they can, you know, kind of get out of their pan and, and feel a little free. So right now what we did was we went ahead and blew her uh, from the bottom to the top all over you know so she can kind of get used to that noise as well uh, like i said uh, this heifer has been worked on every day so she's already used to it uh, some of them may not be as used to it yet but it's always good to to do it at least once or twice a week so that they can start getting used to it uh, you know whenever you're going to bathe them and, and blow them down for the prospect shows and the, and the shows so right now we're just going to let her sit and finish air drying and uh, we'll continue uh, with the uh, show stick Okay guys, for, for the final step, like I said this morning, uh, we started by putting on the halter, uh, doing some, some halter breaking tips, you know, getting her to move. Uh, like I said, you know, you move them five to six feet, baby steps. We walked over to the wash rack, tied her up, we bathed her, we used the, we blew her, and now we're gonna do a little bit of show stick work. Uh, so like I said, this is all practice. They're not gonna get used to it right away. You know, it takes time. So don't get frustrated, you know, when they don't want to move or they don't want to put their foot in correctly. Uh, so, you know, you have to work with it. Like I said, just like the halter breaking baby steps, this is the same process. So what I normally do is I hold tight to the halter to maintain that control. And what I do is I normally come on top just so they can feel the stick, you know, so that they don't think that you're trying to hurt them or anything like that. Once they feel a little bit, then I kind of start rubbing and moving down the back part towards the, the butt area, down to the bottom, you know, so they can feel the show stick and then kind of move towards the middle and rub. And then finally get to the bottom, you know, and you can just kind of just slowly, slowly just 
rubber so that she can get comfortable, so she can feel that you're not gonna hurt her. Once you start doing that, then you can practice setting her up. So you always wanna make sure that, that their head and their neck extension is up, gives them a better view. What I normally do is I start working the front part, kind of touch a little bit here. If she moves back, then you can just rub so that she feels comfortable. Once you have a more or less set how you're gonna do it, you kind of look at her back feet and you want the leg that is facing the judge always to be back a little bit. Sometimes you can't do that, but you always want to try. So what I do is I'll push back on that leg slowly, right there. And I'll teach her because it's back a little bit and just rub and rub and make sure her head is up. And then I'll try to move this a little forward, but see, she can move back. So what I'll do is I'll bring this forward a little bit and kind of push that back there and hold her and use that. Okay. So like I said, it's a process. It's not easy. Trust me. I know. But once you do it plenty of times, they'll learn and you just rub and you rub. So with that being said, you know, we, we did the, from the halter breaking to putting on the halter, to walking to the wash rack, washing her, blowing her, and then doing a little bit of show stick work, you know, so that they can get used to it. Like I said, we still have a long way to go, you know, but practicing every day, you know, you'll get there. Practice makes perfect, you know, so the more you practice, the better you'll be. So like I said, she moved a little bit, Slowly, she'll, she'll get there. And there you go. Thank you very much. Have a great day.